Les Les Les. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's cold out here. About 18 degrees. I know you guys up north see a whole lot colder weather than this, but it's been uh, down around zero, negative two, negative three in the mornings, up around 10, 15 in the afternoons. Had a lot of time in the single digits and around zero here lately. We've been below freezing for a couple of weeks, and here in Kentucky that's kind of kind of unusual, so I'm not gonna be out here very long, but I wanted to show you something uh, normally on this uh, on this channel, I do stuff that's off-road oriented. Uh, we've done Toyota trucks, we've done Jeeps. Been doing some videos on this F-150 back here. Uh, but I like everything that has tires on it. If it's got tires on it, I'm a fan. And um, so I've got a new project here I wanted to show you, and I'm going to be doing some videos on it this year. Hopefully, you'll enjoy. There she is. That's a 2003 Ford Mustang Mach 1. And uh, you guys that know Mustangs know this was a special edition. Say hi, Dixie. She's going to help me out again today. This was a special edition car that came out for just a couple of years. And this particular color, I think they made a couple thousand of them for the whole country. So they're not rare, but they're certainly not as common as the GTs were. Uh, this one here is a one-owner car. The guy that owned it bought it. Uh, he ordered it in the summer of 2002. It was made in November, so he had to wait almost six months to get his car that he ordered, which uh, to me would just be brutal. But uh, he picked it up in December of 02, so I guess that was a cool Christmas present for him that year. Now on the Mach 1s, of course, he had the accents like the Magnum wheels, the uh, black striping and accents, the shaker hood scoop, which of course was functional on these cars. On the interior, you had those comfort weave seats. Uh, so they had some cool touches that they put on these cars to make them look retro but the coolest thing of all is what's under the hood which was a more potent version of the 4.6 liter v8 now these things were conservatively rated at 305 horsepower and about 320 pounds feet of torque but as you guys know most people that were putting these on the dyno were seeing much higher numbers than that so uh, what i'm thinking is we're going to use this as a project this year Going to do some basic mods to it, stuff that you guys could probably afford to do if you got a small budget like me. You know, I gave uh, $7,000 for this car, which was not a bad deal for a one owner Mach 1. And uh, we're going to put some basic bolt ons on this thing to start with. I do have to do a little paint work to it because the guy that owned it drove it every day for the first 10 years of its life. So you can see rock chips all over the hood. There's some rock chips on the fenders. The bumper cover is going to have to be painted, so going to have to do a little paint work here. The rest of the car is pretty, pretty good. A couple of spots here and there I'm going to touch up. But overall, the rest of the car is pretty good. It's just the hood and that front bumper and clip that has to be uh, painted. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to get done to it. But, you know, overall, he took good care of the car. I got all the paperwork with it. Even had the original window sticker with it kind of hard to believe but this was one of the top of the line cars that year the only thing above this was the Cobra that you could get from just a regular dealership and uh, even though it was toward the top of the lineup this car was under thirty thousand dollars when it was new kind of makes you cry nowadays when you see that a GT is thirty six thousand <laughs> but uh, but yeah that's just be a, a fun project you know last year I had an 01 GT um, and we did basic bolt-ons and a dyno tune on it and we got 40 horsepower and 50 pounds feet of torque over stock on that car, which even surprised me. I never thought that these cars would respond to just bolt on mods like that. But they do, and uh, this Mach 1, since it's starting out at a much higher power level than the GT, should be fun. Should be really fun to see where we can get this car to with just the basic add ons. So, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that going to be the new project. I'm going to call this one Papa Smurf because it looks like that Smurf blue color. I kind of like it. So uh, keep watching the channel this year. Once it warms up, I'm not going to do much to it right now because I don't feel like working on stuff when it's 18 degrees. But once it warms up a little bit out here, 
springtime. We're going to get after it, start doing some modifications to it, and then ultimately we'll take it to the dyno again. We've got a really good dyno shop not far from here. The guy's awesome at dynoing these cars, so we'll take it over there, let him put it on the rollers, and see what she'll do. And uh, we'll start with the baseline and work up. Should be a lot of fun, and my goal is to uh, keep the budget, the total budget. I told you I spent seven on the car. I want to keep the total budget under ten thousand dollars, and I want to be able to run with the new 5.0 cars. If I can take this thing to the track and hang in there with the new 5.0 cars for less than ten thousand dollars, and have a cool special edition Mustang like this, then uh, that will be very, very awesome. So stay tuned, or we're going to do some cool stuff this year. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.